What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to GNR. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to be talking about another microphone. It's raining mics lately, y'all. So without further ado, let's go. I love testing out new gear. And, and speaking of new gear, I had a company called Movo reach out to me, offering me to uh, send me one of their microphones to review for everybody, just so y'all can get a chance to kind of experience what one of their products are like. And they sent me their UM700W USB condenser microphone. Ta -da! This thing might look oddly familiar to you, and that's because, well, it does resemble the Blue Yeti quite a bit, uh, even down to the button layout almost. So we do have the audio monitoring volume knob here at the front, a tactile mute button right here. We do have a LED right here in between the two to kind of indicate when the microphone is on or off. And on the rear side of the microphone, we have a gain knob and a polar pattern knob. Of course, it does come with four different patterns to choose from. It is an all metal build. Uh, the buttons themselves or the knobs are plastic. The grill is metal. Uh, overall, I'll tell you, this feels very sturdy. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap. The knobs, a little bit, but they have a pretty decent resistance to them. So I don't feel like you're going to have any issues with the knobs and adjusting your volumes or gain. The mute button it feels like a cheap button but then again when you're paying 100 bucks for the microphone you really can't expect too much and in all honesty when it comes to build quality it is actually a uh, pretty on point for the price point uh, now a couple of things to mention too is that we do have a headphone jack for mic monitoring in real time we also do have our uh, mounting hole right here for uh, any sort of boom arm or microphone stand. And the cool thing, welcome to 2021, ladies and gentlemen. The cool thing about the microphone is that it is connected via USB-C. No longer are we messing around with micro USB or mini USB. This is a USB-C connector into the microphone. It does come included with USB-C to USB-C cables and a USB-C to USB-A cable as well. Anyways, uh, in terms of build quality, once again, great microphone, pretty solid build. The knobs are plastic. I, I, I'm, a, I'm slightly, I'm ever so slightly concerned about that. But other than that, uh, not too much to fret about. Let's go ahead and move into sound. All right, ladies and gents. So this is the UM700W USB condenser microphone by Movo. I have the gain turned to about roughly in between 9 and 10 o'clock. And I am about maybe 2, maybe 3 inches away from the microphone. Uh, I do have to make a note here, okay? Please have some headphones on while you listen to this so you can get a really good idea of what the microphone's sound quality is like. Number two, I am doing this video in an untreated room. Uh, maybe you don't know, maybe you do know, but as a result of the winter apocalypse that we had here in Texas, uh, my house suffered some pretty considerable damage on the inside, so we're at my in-laws for the time being until the house gets fixed. So take that into consideration. Uh, in the tests that I've already conducted with the microphone, I have been able to hear some reverb uh, in the background. And of course, this being a condenser microphone, it means it's a very sensitive microphone. Uh, if there was any sort of noise going on in the background, either my babies or my, my in-laws or my family or my wife, it'll probably be picked up by the microphone, even with the gain right now as low as it is. Now I can go lower, but I personally like the sound uh, quality that I'm getting from this microphone right now with the gain at where it's at. Um, I'll tell you this, uh, and I'm going to kind of start getting a little further away just so you can kind of understand like what kind of effect this is going to have as far as getting closer, getting closer to the microphone or getting further away from the microphone, right? One thing I really do like about the USB microphones is that they are plug and play. You plug them in and they're good to go. There's really no necessary setups or anything crazy like that going on. The other benefit that you have here is that unlike an XLR dynamic microphone, much like the Shure SM7B I used at the beginning of the video. Uh, that microphone requires a lot of gain and it requires a lot of gain so much so that I had to buy a $150 piece called a cloud lifter to use it properly to get really good sound out of it or better sound out of it. I have to buy an extra piece with USB microphones. Fortunately, that is not necessary. You just have to have enough power coming out of your computer or uh, if you're using something like an XLR condenser microphone, then you have to make sure that your audio interface provides enough phantom power to power the microphone itself. This being a USB mic, you're not going to have that issue. As far as sound quality goes, y'all, I got to tell you for a hundred bucks, this sounds really good. Like, I like it a lot. If I had a treated room and maybe when I get my house back and uh, redo the setup. I'll probably get some sound treatment, some uh, acoustic panels and whatnot. Um, I may end up switching to a condenser microphone because I do love how condenser microphones handle one's voice. I think they do more justice to it. 
I also do love how a dynamic microphone handles one's voice and it just sounds really good and broadcasty, but condensers are really good too and I like them a lot. Um, as far as the Movo UM700W goes, I am very, very happy with the sound quality. Uh, I'll give it another couple of seconds of silence just to see if you can hear it now once I've applied the effect. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to test out the plosives of the microphone. In order to do that, uh, we're going to go through an old school nursery rhyme. You ready? <clears throat> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the different polar patterns of the Movo UM700W microphone. This is the stereo pattern. You should be able to pick up sound from the left and the right sides, ideal for capturing a realistic sound and general recording. So I should be able to hear my finger snapping right here. Going to the beat, not really much of a beat. I mean, I'm not really much of a musician. And this is the cardioid pattern. Maximizes the rejection of sound coming from the sides and rear of the mic. Can be used as a directional microphone to capture full, rich, natural sounding audio for podcasts, speeches, dialogue, instruments, etc. Well, let's see. Omnidirectional pattern. Picks up sound equally from all directions, capturing a natural blend of voice and ambience with low sensitivity to wind and handling noise, as well as to vocal plosives. 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 Bidirectional pattern. Picks up sound at the front and rear of the microphone while sounds to the sides are not picked up. A great fit for capturing instruments or recording an interview between two people. So it shouldn't pick anything up from the side. Or much rather, it should pick up very little from the side. But it should definitely pick up a whole lot more from the front. And a whole lot more from the rear. Cool. Moving on. All right, ladies and gents, the very last thing I want to test out before we wrap this video up is I want to test out the mute button. So a lot of times, these microphones have these very tactile mute buttons that when you mute them and you hit the button, it actually creates an audible feedback that the viewers or listeners can hear as soon as you press the button. This is very notorious in a microphone much like the Blue Yeti. And seeing that the Movo UM700W is designed very similarly to the Blue Yeti, I do anticipate that it's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep talking. I'm going to press the mute button and you're probably going to be able to hear the audio click because it's still going. But oh my God, wouldn't you look at that. And now we press it again and we should be back. I saw a bit of feedback right here in Audacity, but not a whole lot. Now, the interesting thing is, is that the first time I pressed it, it didn't mute it, but you had to press a little bit harder than you would think so to actually get the mic to mute. Interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and wrap this up, y'all. Listen, $100, Movo UM700W USB condenser microphone out of the box, no post-processing right now. This is what the microphone sounds like. Cardioid pattern, gain set to about in between 9 and 10 o'clock, right? Like 9.30, if you will. I'm going to tell you, I am very impressed with how good this microphone does sound. It does have a small issue with the electrical feedback from the uh, from plugging it into my computer. I cannot determine if that is something with the microphone, the USB cable, or something with my PC. Uh, so because I can't make that determination just yet, I'm not going to dock the points from the microphone at all. Uh, it's got a pretty good build quality for 100 bucks. Uh, metal body, metal grill plastic buttons I would have liked to see something at least a little sturdier but I think that they have to differentiate themselves from the Blue Yeti because the Blue Yeti if I remember correctly has very smoothed out round knobs as opposed to this one that has like the uh, ridged knobs right here as well as in the back all things considered four polar patterns of which we're probably going to really only use one makes me wonder what other features they could have added or enhanced in this microphone had they not in included the polar patterns that we probably won't be using other than that, the microphone doesn't really leave too much to be desired. For $100, I think this is an excellent buy. It sounds really good. It's got pretty good quality. Um, and I don't really know, like, I, I've got nothing really to complain. Ooh, I do have something to complain about, kind of. Don't look, don't look a, a gift horse in the mouth is what they say, but I'll tell you this. Very few people, streamers, YouTubers, etc., use the provided desktop stands that come with these microphones now that it's nice that they do that it's it's really it's i it, i appreciate it oh, almost although it sounds very unappreciative i'm about to say i kind of appreciate it but like we don't really use those we use like a boom arm like this right here right 
or something else like an Elgato, the Elgato multi mounts that they sell, something like that is what we tend to use and we stick to. Okay, but get do something else with the stand. Just don't include a stand. Do, do reinvest the money for the stand, which is probably super cheap, uh, and and make the microphone better. And for the love of God, this is the second microphone in a row I review that doesn't have the adapter to fill uh, to to fit. That doesn't have the adapter to fit these boom arms. It'll only fit your traditional microphone stand uh, adapters, but it doesn't fit these guys. So you have to go out there and buy a separate one. And that would be super annoying if you got your microphone and you're all happy to get it and start using it and like, oh crap, now I gotta go buy a freaking thread adapter because my microphone is too thick. All in all, ladies and gents, if you had a hundred bucks and you're trying to find yourself a USB condenser microphone within that price range and you stumbled across the Movo UM700W, you would not regret buying this microphone. So it's got my recommendation, go check it out. Uh, hope you found a review helpful, informative as usual. Thank you for everybody who's been supportive of the channel with all the new subscribers and likes and comments and everything else. If you have any thoughts or opinions on this microphone, let me know in the comments below. Any additional questions, anything else I need to find out for you, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, you hit the bell, you share this. Follow me on Twitter at GNR underscore Frank. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out.